Hi, I'm Dave, this is Let's Click Photography and today I'm out again with the Canon RF 800mm. Mobbly today, specifically at the uh, southern end of Manchester Airport second runway. If you haven't watched my previous video about this lens, a quick overview it is an f11 constant aperture, 800mm prime. It just does exactly what it says on the tin. I'm going to shoot a little bit on the Canon R6. Um, I went in vehicle tracking mode on the Canon R6, which is great. I'm going to take a couple of shots on the R6 and now I'm going to swap this over and put it onto the Canon EOS R and just see how this lens performs with the R. I'll just give you an idea of the focal length of this beast. Uh, there's a, an emergency vehicle just around here somewhere. Now I'm hoping you should be able to see just about on here. We're in at 35 millimeter on this lens. I'm gonna take a shot of it and just see the detail that you can get out of this lens, even at this kind of distance. And yeah, just looking at that, I mean, you can read the number plate on the vehicle. And you can see the fella inside it as well. Um, so this is phenomenal. It's such a good lens for this type of photography. I'm no aircraft photography expert, but even I know that photographing the underbelly of an aircraft is um, a little bit boring after a few shots. So I'm going to have a little walk and see if I can find another position to photograph from. And I should add that actually the walk around Manchester Airport, which is public access, is, um, is a beautiful walk. Uh, there's loads to see, loads to see, you walk through some woods, past some farmland, I see some farm animals and actually there's quite a bit of opportunity for uh, bird photography as well. Okay, we're at a much better spot now actually. We can even see the far end of the runway and almost follow the entirety of the um, takeoff. I'm gonna switch over now from the Canon R6 and attach this RF800 onto the EOS R. Every image that I show you today, much like in the last video about this lens that I did, will be JPEG straight from camera. Uh, we're on the same Canon profile as the last time around, which is the fine detail profile. And I'm shooting RAW and JPEG just so I can share with you everything as it comes out of camera, just processed by what's in the camera body. So I'm just going to give the image stabilization a bit of a test on the R uh, and I'm shooting at 200th of a second um, at ISO 200 and let's see how this image stabilization deals without the in body on the ESR. So 
So shooting with the Canon EOS R it's definitely lost something for me, the lens, in terms of the image stabilisation. Uh, without that in-body image stabilisation, I think it's delivering at best about one stop of image stabilisation. And the really great thing about a lens like this is that it is lightweight enough that you want to be shooting handheld with it. You want that freedom and losing those stops of image stabilisation with the EOS R doesn't help that along at all. I don't think I'd really feel overly comfortable shooting below 1 640th on this with that image stabilization on, and even then maybe 1 800th. And also, I should add that focusing with the ESR, as would be expected really, is not smooth or as fast as it is with the R6. They still didn't get the update with the vehicle tracker, so it's not just latching onto planes like the R6 does. I'm, I'm actually having to focus like old school photography. If you want to see more from this lens, you can check out this video right here. Because I'm going to go and photograph in a hairdresser's this afternoon, for which this will be of no use whatsoever. I'd better get myself off and get me the kit that will be of use. I've been Dave. This has been Let's Click Photography. And from me, for now, ciao.